Meet the stars. He has the skills you, stop right there. of a dangerous man. I need to know what went wrong. I think he snapped. But he has no memory. He trained, conditioned, built to disappear. He's a guy who at the beginning of the movie, uh, gets pulled out of the water and he's been shot twice and he has no idea who he is. He has amnesia. Give me $10,000 to drive me to Paris. I get the money and I don't get hurt. That's the deal. I can't remember anything that happened before two weeks ago. Amnesia? Like, yes. As the movie kind of goes along, he starts to, you know, see this kind of skill set he has. And, you know, he can speak all these different languages. He's really good at m martial arts and, and, and at, you know, all these different, you know, techniques of beating people up, and uh, and he's really comfortable with weapons in his hand and stuff. So, um, so you know, the movie starts to unfold, and he starts to realize he's probably not a, like a car salesman. I know the best place to look for a gun is the cab of the gray truck outside, and at this altitude, I can run flat out for a half mile before my hands start shaking. Now, why would I know that? I wanted to play this character because. I like that she's destroying all the stereotypes of women that are so dumb that are in most action thrillers. I like that she's just this civilian, just this girl that whenever something thrill-like happens, she's like, why did it just happen? Why? I don't get it. So... What? Uh, we got a bump coming up. Yeah? I mean, a lot of times you see these kind of movies where, you know, there are these kind of gratuitous action scenes that just kind of, that, that you're not really invested in because, you know, you're just sitting there and something blows up and you're like, well, it was kind of cool that that blew up. And you, you walk out and you don't really remember the movie after you saw it. And and uh, and what I liked about this one was just that the action seemed, you know, really to come kind of organically out of, out of the story and the situations that they were in and, and just seemed really believable and really real. What is it? Something wrong? The characters are not typical one-dimensional uh, action heroes. You have an anti-hero who's a weird psycho guy who doesn't know who he is and doesn't talk much. And you have this girl who's a total civilian and uh, she gets angry if she doesn't understand anything and she's just doing what you and I would do if something explodes. I don't want to know who I am anymore. You play the game growing up. I mean, my brother and I used to play it and from what I remember of what spying was for me and him, it was like sneak up on the guy and then tackle him. I think that was how, how we kind of played. The Born Identity.